Welcome to Fanfiction Audiobook. Dragon Ball I Am Son Gohan. Chapter 21. Boom. With an extremely violent explosion, the body of the penetrated alien warrior exploded. Huh. Son Gohan flew forward after they looked. Laboratory. The commander-in-chief of the battle had already seen the picture of Guda being eliminated through monitoring at this time. After seeing that Ji Yudu was eliminated, the battle commander immediately gritted his teeth and said, the other party is not only 30,000 combat strength. How could it be that Guda of Team Kinnit gave a second drop all of a sudden? Quote. Doctor. I, I don't know. Quote. After hearing this, the battle commander said to the alien warriors on the side, order. All out. And tell Captain Kinu about Guda's killing. Quote. Yes. The alien warrior saluted. Don't rub it, go quickly. The battle commander said angrily. Good. After that, the alien warrior immediately ran towards the research room, shouting at them as he ran, telling them all to move. Boom. Rumble. Rumble. Quote. After the commander of the battle ordered, the alien warriors all dispatched and used their weapons to attack the flying Sun Gohan. Biu Biu. After the alien warriors attacked, Vegeta and Naba used gas waves to kill them in pieces, and soon a large number of alien warriors were eliminated. At the same time, the alien warriors called by the combat commander again came to the outside of the room where the Kinyu team was. Ha ha ha. Captain I won. Guys was laughing at the guessing win. Bang. Bang. Quote. With two heavy knocks, the alien warrior hurriedly pushed the door and walked in. Hem. Kinu, who was losing the chocolate, saw the alien warrior break into the door and said angrily, what happened? Let you run in so much panic. If you don't give me a reasonable explanation, you don't want to go out. Quote. The alien warrior's face changed after hearing this, Lord Guda has been killed. Quote. What? After hearing this, Kinyu's face changed and said, who killed him? Quote. Alien warrior, I don't know. But I heard that the conductor said that he was killed in seconds. Quote. Spike. Yes. After hearing this, Kinu gritted his teeth and said, Guys, Legao, Bart, it seems that we can't play anymore, it seems that a powerful guy has come. Quote. Alien warrior, Captain Kenyu, go out and help. They have already rushed in. Quote. Kinu, guys, let's go. Quote. Yes, Captain. After hearing this, the three nodded at the same time and rushed outside. Boom. Rumble. Rumble. Quote. At this time, the research room was already in flames. Hem. At this moment, Sun Gohan and they felt a strong chi flying towards them. After feeling the chi, Vegeta's expression changed. Team Kinnit is coming. Quote. Sun Gohan. Come here. Then let's go out first. There is something inconvenient about fighting here. Quote. Hem. Vegeta and Naba nodded and flew towards the research room. Laboratory. The commander-in-chief of the battle saw Sun Gohan from the monitor, and they retreated and laughed. Ha ha ha. You know you're scared. Team Kinnit is the strongest team under King Frieza. Quote. Ha. Huh. At this time, Sun Gohan and Vegeta had already arrived in midair outside the research room. Vegeta. Sun Gohan, you can solve them. Quote. Sun Gohan. If you are afraid, you can fly far. Quote. Who is afraid? Vegeta gritted her teeth and said. Huh. Just as Vegeta's words fell, Team Kinnit flew out of the research room and saw Sun Gohan and them. Kinu. Traitor Vegeta. Quote. Guys, could it be that you were the one who destroyed Guda just now? Quote. Kinu. No. It should not be him, but the little devil in front of him. Quote. Guys. Little. Gremlin. Quote. Guys said and looked at Sun Gohan, tail. He is a Saiyan. Quote. Kinu, it should be. Quote. Guys, aren't the cosines just Vegeta left? Where did this imp come from? Quote. Bart, could it be Vegeta's illegitimate son? It's not like that. Quote. Kinu, don't guess, let's ask him if it's over. Quote. Ha, huh. Kinu said as he leaned towards Sun Gohan. Kinu, little ghost, who are you? Quote. Bang. As soon as Kinu's words fell, Sun Gohan punched him and flew out. Captain. Geese was shocked after they looked at it. What? Vegeta saw Kinu flying out backwards, and said with disbelief in his eyes, Could it be, Gohan he did it? Quote. Naba's eyes widened after seeing it, and his expression was already sluggish. 
Huh. After flying upside down for a long distance, Captain Kinu clasped his hands, stopped his body hard, and covered his bruised face with his right hand, with a look of indignation. Ah. Seeing the injury on Captain Kinu's face, guys looked stunned, turned on the combat effectiveness tester on his head, and aimed it at Sun Gohan. DD. 2000, 5000, 30,000. Guys, how can a Saiyan with 30,000 combat power hit the captain? Could it be that the captain is careless? Quote. Huh. Sun Gohan smiled after hearing this, and a breath of chi emanated from his body. Boom. With the battle detector guys wore on his head, the data began to rise rapidly. DD. 40,000, 50,000, 100,000. 10, 100,000 combat power. How could a Saiyan have a hundred thousand points of combat power? The machine must have malfunctioned. Guys looked horrified and said. Huh. At this time, Vegeta, who was standing behind Sun Gohan, heard Guys smile and said, you may not know. The man standing in front of you is the Super Saiyan that Frieza has always feared. Quote. Ultra, Super Saiyan. Guys was shocked. Huh. At this moment, Kinyu, who flew out upside down, stopped his body and said with an angry face, less laughing. I was just careless. Super Saiyans are nothing more than nonsense legends that you Saiyans have imagined. Quote. Saying that, he looked towards him and said, you nasty fellow. You actually started it without even saying the rules of the battle. Quote. Huh. After hearing this, Sun Wuhan sneered and said, do you kill people, and ask the other party if you are willing to hand over your life. Quote. After hearing this, Kinyu immediately became angry and said, what an arrogant fellow. Do you think that 100,000 combat power can defeat me? Quote. Huh. Sun Gohan smiled after hearing this and said, are you planning to be the first to come up and die? Quote. What? Kinyu gritted his teeth after hearing this. Sun Gohan, let's talk to one more thing before you die. The province of you died in vain. Quote. Before you die. After hearing this, Kinu said angrily, what do you want to say? Quote. Sun Gohan, Super Saiyans are not legends. Quote. Bang. After Sun Gohan finished speaking, his figure flashed, and he punched through his body. Poof. After Kinu's body was pierced, a large mouthful of blood spewed out of his mouth, and his body slowly fell to the ground. Huh. After Sun Gohan pierced Kinu's body, he quickly withdrew his right hand. What? Guys saw Sun Gohan who suddenly appeared in front of Ki Nu, and Captain Ki Nu's body being punched through, and said with indescribable fear in his eyes, strange, monster. Quote. Bart. Captain. Quote. Legao. Captain. Quote. Naba. What just happened to Vegeta? Quote. Vegeta. How would I know? Quote. You. Captain Ki Nu, whose body was pierced, spoke with difficulty. Just when everyone was extremely shocked, Sun Gohan's right hand quickly condensed a wave of chi and hit Captain Kinu. Boom. With an extremely violent explosion, Captain Kinu's body was wiped out. Ah. When Guy saw that Captain Kinu had been eliminated, he immediately shouted and stepped back. Bart. This, is this guy really a Super Saiyan? Quote. After Sun Gohan eliminated Kinu, he stared at the three with an indifferent expression. You guys want to go together. It's up to me to kill you all one by one. Quote. After hearing this, Li Gao immediately became angry and said, There is no way to do it now. Guys, Bart, let's all go together. Quote. Good. Guys nodded. Huh. The three said and rushed towards Sun Gohan. HMPH. Sun Wuhan saw the three people rushing towards him, snorted coldly, and his figure flashed, and instantly disappeared from the sight of the three. Hem. The three of them stopped after watching. Guys, what about people? Quote. Bang. 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 Quote. Just as Guys' words fell, the three of them were hit hard in the abdomen at the same time, and they suddenly lost consciousness. Huh. After the three lost consciousness, Sun Gohan's right hand condensed chi waves to wipe out the bodies of the three. Naba swallowed a mouthful of water after seeing it, and whispered to Vegeta, this little devil is completely different from when he was on Earth, and he kills people neatly. Quote. Vegeta. Shut up. Quote. Naba quickly closed his mouth after hearing this. When Sun Gohan heard Naba's words, he looked cold and said, I won't kill you. 
That's because we Saiyans don't have many left. Quote. Yes. B. Naba nodded immediately after hearing this. Son Gohan. Okay. Let's go destroy their lab. Quote. Ha. Huh. Vegeta laughed when she heard this. I didn't expect that we would destroy Frisha's research room one day. Quote. Yes. Naba laughed when he heard this. After that, the three of them flew towards the research room. Laboratory. After the commander-in-chief of the battle saw that Kinu had been eliminated through monitoring, he immediately informed Frisha. After the notice went up, the commander-in-chief of the battle said to the alien warriors on the side, Order. Let everyone go to the launch room, this research room cannot be saved, how much can we escape? Quote. Yes. Boom. Just as the words of the commander-in-chief of the battle fell, an alien warrior hurriedly ran in and said, the commander-in-chief of combat effectiveness is not good. The launch chamber was destroyed by Vegeta and them. Now you can't get in. Quote. What? When the commander-in-chief heard this, he became furious, Vegeta. Quote. At this time, there is a huge circular spaceship in the universe, and this huge spaceship is Frisha's spaceship. Frieza was in the main control room at this time, looking at the universe outside through the spaceship glass and said, one day the whole universe will be mine. Quote. At this moment, an alien warrior ran in in a panic, no, not good, King Frieza. The planet Frieza has been invaded, and the Kinyu team has all been wiped out. Quote. What? When Frieza heard this, he became angry and said, who did it? Quote. I heard that it was Vegeta, Naba and an unknown Saiyan, the unknown Saiyan, who single-handedly eliminated Team Kinyut. What? After hearing this, Frieza immediately turned to the person who operated the spaceship, returned to the planet Frieza. Quote. Yes, planet Frieza. After the Kinyut team was eliminated, Vegeta and Naba eliminated the alien warriors in the research room one by one, because Sun Gohan did not like to kill people. So the killing was handed over to them, and when they encountered Vegeta they could not deal with, they took action to solve it. At this time, Sun Gohan had already arrived at the main room of the research room and met the commander-in-chief of the battle. Huh. Vegeta smiled when he saw the commander-in-chief. How is it? I didn't expect such a day. Chu Fei. Quote. Yes. After hearing this, the battle commander gritted his teeth and said, Vegeta, you traitor. I have already informed King Frisha, and when Frisha and them come, he will not let you go. Quote. Ha. Huh. Vegeta smiled when she heard this, you may not know. Originally, we could have escaped by destroying the Kinnit team, but do you know why we didn't leave? Quote. Commander in chief of the battle, why? Quote. Vegeta, because we stayed on purpose. Destroy him. Quote. Ha ha ha. When the battle commander heard this, he laughed loudly and said, just because you also want to destroy King Frisha. Bite off more than one can chew. Quote. Bang. As soon as the words of the commander-in-chief of the battle fell, he was killed by Sun Gohan's punch. Sun Gohan. Okay. There should be no strong guys here, and the rest will be left to you. Quote. Naba. Yes. Quote. Huh. After hearing this, Sun Gohan turned around and flew out. After Sun Gohan left, Naba turned to the side and said to Vegeta, Vegeta, he is gone. What do we do next? Do you stay here and wait for Frieza to come over, or go to the research room and get two spaceships to escape? Quote. Vegeta listened, you idiot. Don't think about it with your head. What if we escape the planet with a spaceship and encounter Frieza's spaceship? Quote. And if we stay on this planet, maybe there will be a glimmer of life. And I also want to know if that imp can really bring down Frieza. Quote. Naba. Okay. Then let's go and destroy those men of Frieza now. Quote. Hem. Vegeta nodded after listening. At the same time, Frieza's spaceship is speeding towards the planet Frieza. Just as Frieza was rushing to Frieza, three small circular spaceships with glass spaceships were parked in the place of the two planets of Frieza. On each of the three spaceships, there is an alien, they are a patrol team responsible for space security usually responsible for arresting some small criminals who have escaped from some planets to other planets. And for Frisha, the super powerful, they are also helpless. These three space patrol members have different appearances, and they are all selected from different planets. Sitting in the leftmost spaceship is an alien who looks a little like a small Ultraman, he has yellow salted egg eyes, purple, 
His name is Gak, he is a sniper, and his marksmanship is extremely accurate. In the middle of the spaceship is a pointy-eared, blue-skinned, tall Yadrat, named Yadi, who is part of the team to help his teammates escape and pursue criminals, and can use teleportation. The spaceship on the right is a green-clad Nami with two antennae on his head, a therapeutic Namuki, whose name is Danyu, who is generally responsible for helping to heal injured teammates. They were a recently formed squad, currently only three, and they were here because they had received news that the planet Frieza had been attacked to check out what was going on. Yadi, Gak, shall we go to Frieza planet to see what's going on? Quote. Gark. Don't yet. Let's see the situation first, and the planet Frieza is destroyed, it stands to reason that Frieza should come back, if we go down now, the Frieza who was driven back found that it was not looking for death. Quote. Yadi. Alright. However, I just sensed that Frieza had five very strong chi that were wiped out at once. Quote. Gark. Oh. So do you know who it is? Quote. Yadi. If my guess is good. It should be Team Kinnit then. Quote. Team Kinnit. Gak was shocked when he heard this. Ha! Huh. At this moment, a huge circular spaceship flew towards the planet Frieza in front. Danyu, Gark, look at it. There's a spaceship over there, heading towards the planet Frieza. Quote. Gark, that's not Frieza's spaceship. Quote. Hem. Yadi nodded after listening. Gark. So, Team Kinnit was indeed wiped out, otherwise Frieza wouldn't have returned. Quote. Yadi. Gark, so what do we do? Quote. Gark. When Frieza and their spaceship fly down, we'll quietly follow over and see. Quote. Hem. Yadi nodded. Ha. Huh. Frieza's spaceship flew and quickly landed towards the planet Frieza. Inside the spaceship, Frieza gritted his teeth angrily and said, Abominable Saiyan. No matter who you are, I'm going to wipe you out. Quote. Planet Frieza. Vegeta and Naba had already wiped out all of Frieza's men, and they were happy when they suddenly felt an extremely powerful chi descending downward. After feeling the chi, Vegeta's face changed, it's not good, Frisha, they are coming. Quote. What? Naba was shocked when he heard this. Huh. As soon as Vegeta's words fell, Frisha's spaceship appeared in the sky, rapidly descending. Boom. After a while, Frisha's spaceship landed on the ground. Kai. With a light bang, the spaceship door opened, and a group of alien warriors ran out of it, lined up neatly, and their captain Chu Yi was standing at the front at this time, looking around. Tread. With a heavy footstep, Frieza walked out of the spaceship. King Frieza. Captain Chu Yi saw that Frieza took the lead in making a bow salute, and the alien warriors on both sides looked at it and saluted, King Frieza. Quote. Huh. After hearing this, Frieza flew into the air, and said with an indifferent expression, well, there is no need to say so much, you guys go and find out Vegeta and the people who eliminated the Kinnit team. Quote. Chu Yi. Yes. King Frieza. Quote. Chu Yi said as he turned on the combat power detector he was wearing on his head, and said with the alien warrior, you guys come with me to find out Vegeta and them. Quote. Didi. As soon as Chu Yi's words fell, the combat effectiveness detector immediately showed that a guy with extremely high combat effectiveness was leaning towards them. 2000, 3000, 10,000. A. Seeing the value of the stop in combat effectiveness, Chu Yi was shocked. It's only 10,000, is it Vegeta them? Quote. Huh. After Chu Yi finished speaking, a figure immediately flew in the sky, this person was Sun Wuhan. Hem. Frisha who was standing in the sky at this time, saw Sun Gohan appear and exclaimed, Saiyan. Quote. Frieza said, turning on the combat power detector he was wearing on his head. DD. 2000, 3000, 10,000. Ha. Huh. It turned out to be a spicy chicken monkey worth 10,000 combat values. Frieza smiled when he saw the value of the combat power detector. After Frieza laughed for a while, his mind suddenly recalled that the last news from the other side of the research room was that the Kinnit team seemed to have been wiped out by a ghost. Really? Thinking of this, he opened his mouth to Sun Gohan. Little ghost, let me ask you if the Kinnu team was destroyed by you. Quote. Hem. At this time, Sun Gohan, who was standing in midair watching Frisha, nodded slightly after hearing Frisha's words. What? After hearing this, Frieza looked at him in disbelief, and thought to himself, 
The combat strength of any one of the Kinet team has broken 10,000 points, and Kinu has 120,000 combat power. How can it be eliminated by this little devil with a combat power of only 10,000 in front of him? Could it be that this guy has some superpowers? Or is he lying to me? Quote. Just as Frieza was thinking secretly, Sun Wuhan's figure flashed and appeared in front of Chu Yi, and his right hand condensed a large wave of chi and quickly shot towards them. Biu Biu. Boom. With one after another extremely violent explosions, Chu Yi and the alien warriors next to him were suddenly hit by the gas wave and turned into ashes. Didi. It was at this time that the value on Frieza's combat effectiveness detector rose rapidly. 20,000, 30,000, 100,000. What? After seeing Chu Yi wiped out, Frieza immediately came to his senses and said angrily, This little devil actually took advantage of me thinking about things. Attack them. Quote. Huh. Frieza said, his figure flashed, and rushed towards Sun Gohan. HMPH. Seeing the rushing Frieza, Sun Gohan snorted coldly, and at the moment he rushed, a punch hit him in the abdomen. Bang. With an extremely violent sound, Frieza's figure stopped and his abdomen was hit by Sun Gohan, with an extremely painful expression on his face. But, after Frieza was hit in the abdomen, he immediately gritted his teeth and said, You. Quote. Saying that, he covered his stomach and retreated back, with a hint of jealousy on his face, what's going on? How could this imp be so fast? Quote. F. King Frieza. Quote. The alien warrior who was still alive behind was shocked when he saw the painful expression on Frieza's face. Ha! Huh. Sun Gohan looked at Frisha, who was standing in the distance without moving, and said with a smile, How surprised is it? You think that through the combat effectiveness detector, you see that my combat effectiveness is not high, and you think that my strength is not good. Quote. What? Frieza was shocked when he heard this. Ha! Huh. Sun Gohan laughed after seeing it and said, Since you love to use that combat power detector so much to evaluate the strength of others. Then I'll let you know how much combat power I really have. Quote. Ah. Sun Gohan said and clenched his fists, and the chi on his body quickly rose upward. 100,000, 200,000, 500,000. Bang. The combat effectiveness tester worn by Frieza and the surviving alien warriors exploded. At this time, Vegeta and Naba, who were hiding behind a large rock thousands of meters from Frisha, felt the rising chi of Sun Gohan, and they were all shocked. Vegeta, Sun Gohan's chi is now far greater than Frieza. Quote. Vegeta said and gritted his teeth and said, I didn't expect his strength to be so strong. Quote. Seeing the combat effectiveness tester explode, Frieza gritted his teeth and said, more than 500,000 combat effectiveness. It seems that Team Kinet was indeed wiped out by you, that's right. Quote. After hearing this, Sun Gohan loosened his hand and stopped continuing to improve his combat effectiveness. Frieza, your strength is indeed very strong, it can be said that among the Saiyans I know, you are the first person who can force me to undergo a stage of transformation. But after I transform, you can't be as arrogant as you are now. Quote. Oh, is it? Sun Gohan sneered after hearing this. Frieza, of course, but before I transform, I want to ask you something, if you are willing to tell me, I can let you die less flesh and skin after the transformation. Quote. Sun Gohan, what's the matter? Quote. Frisha, I want to know where Vegeta and Naba, the two guys who betrayed me, are now. Quote. Huh. Sun Gohan smiled after hearing this, it seems that without the combat effectiveness tester, you will not be able to find them. But I won't tell you, and you won't be our opponent. Quote. Ha ha ha. Frieza burst out laughing, this is the best joke I've ever heard. It doesn't matter if you don't tell me, it's a big deal if I kill you and destroy the entire planet. At that time, it will also die along with this planet. Quote. Ha. Huh. Sun Gohan smiled after hearing this. All right. I didn't tell you more, I told you so much, and I kept you alive for a few more minutes. Quote. Speaking of this, Frieza couldn't help but laugh at the words that had just suppressed Sun Gohan. Ha! Huh. Sun Gohan smiled after hearing this, who let who live more is not certain. But I still admire your conceit and ignorance, I just don't know what your expression will be after being defeated by me. Quote. When Frieza heard Sun Gohan's words, he immediately became angry and said, 
abominable fellow, I'll let you know now how strong my strength is after transformation. Quote. Yay. Frieza said as he clenched his teeth and shone brightly. Bang. 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 Quote. After a while, the shell on his body faded and fell towards the ground. Sun Gohan looked at it and said, this is what you said about transformation. Quote. Frieza. Yes. How are you afraid? Quote. Sun Gohan. No. Just thinking about how to beat you up. Quote. Frieza immediately gritted his teeth after hearing this, arrogant fellow. Quote. Boom. Frieza said, his body moved, and he rushed towards Sun Gohan. Ha. Huh. Sun Gohan chuckled after seeing it. Ha. Huh. Just when Frieza was about to rush to Sun Gohan, Sun Gohan's figure suddenly disappeared. What? Frieza was shocked when he saw it. Bang. Just as Frieza was startled, Sun Gohan came behind him and punched him hard in the back. Bang. Bu. With an extremely violent shock, Frieza, who was hit, flew forward like a ray and hit the large rock in front of him. Boom. Rumble. Rumble. Quote. Frieza, who was knocked out, broke three large rocks in succession and stopped on the fourth large rock. But, after Frieza's body stopped, he immediately gritted his teeth and turned around, and saw Sun Gohan appear in front of him, punching his fists in the face. Bang. 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 Quote. Sun Gohan's fists and feet were like wind and electricity, constantly hitting Frieza's body and face, and under Sun Gohan's rapid attack, he had no power to fight back, and his body was constantly repelled. Bang! Sun Gohan grabbed Frisha's right hand with his right hand, and kicked his left foot hard towards him. Ah! After Frisha's body kicked, he immediately let out a violent scream. Sun Gohan saw it and kicked his right knee towards Frisha's abdomen. Ah! With an extremely violent scream, Frieza spat out a large amount of bitter water and looked at Sun Gohan with hatred. Ha! Huh. Sun Gohan smiled after seeing it, loosened his right hand, and kicked it out. Bu, Frisha, who was kicked into the air, flew forward like a ray again. Boom. Rumble. Rumble. Quote. Frieza hit several mountains in front of him, and a large hole immediately appeared in the middle of the mountains that were hit by the mountains, and the stones on the big hole that were knocked through quickly collapsed downward, crushing Frieza under the big rocks. King Frieza. At this time, the alien warriors next to the spacecraft showed trepidation one by one. Ha! Huh. Sun Gohan looked at it and flew towards the pile of stones that pressed Frisha. Tread! Sun Gohan landed on the ground with both feet, and his right hand condensed a wave of light, slamming towards the pile of stones in front of him. Boom! With a loud noise, the stones of the pile of stones were blasted away, and the wounded Frieza fell to the ground, with an extremely angry look in his eyes. Ha! Huh. Sun Wuhan smiled after seeing it, I thought how strong your strength could be, it turns out that there is only such a little. Quote. Phew. After hearing this, Frieza gritted his teeth and gasped, abominable little ghost. I swear, I must torture you first and then kill you. Quote. Ha. Huh. Sun Gohan smiled after hearing this, it seems that you can only talk big. Quote. But, Frieza clasped his hands and clenched his teeth. Yay. After gritting his teeth, Frieza roared, got up from the ground, and the chi in his body quickly rose upward. After Frieza raised his chi, his body began to grow larger and taller, and the corners of his head became larger and bent to the left and right. After a while, he stopped raising his chi, his figure became tall and burly, and his tail behind him became huge. Ha! Huh. After the transformation was completed, Foley let out a sneer on the sofa and said, Little ghost. See my transformation. Have you ever felt scared? Quote. Ha. Huh. Sun Gohan smiled after hearing this. It seems that you didn't beat you badly enough just now. This time you can rest assured. I will definitely let you know what fear is. Quote. After hearing this, Frieza immediately gritted his teeth and said, Conceited stinky little devil. I'll let you know what fear is later. Quote. Sun Gohan smiled after hearing this. Is it? Quote. Boom. Frieza said, clasping his hands and rushing towards Sun Gohan. Ha! Huh. After Frisha's transformation, his speed was much faster, but he still couldn't keep up with Sun Gohan, and the moment he rushed, Sun Wuhan's body disappeared in a flash. What? When Frieza saw Sun Gohan disappear, she immediately looked around in shock. Ha! Huh. At this moment, a person appeared behind him, this person was none other than Sun Gohan. 
After Sun Gohan went around behind him, he clasped his hands into fists and slammed hard at Frisha's back. Bang! What? Frieza was beaten by Sun Gohan for a moment, and his expression immediately panicked. Huh. After Frieza was hit, his body was like a ray and flew forward quickly. Bew. After Frieza flew forward, he clenched his hands into fists and stopped his body. Huh. At this moment, Sun Gohan rushed to Frisha's body like lightning, and when he was about to hit him, he raised his foot and kicked him hard in the chin. Bang. With an extremely violent tremor, Frieza was kicked into the sky by Sun Gohan's right foot, and Sun Wuhan quickly slapped his hands towards the sky after seeing it. Huh. Waves of air-like rain flew into the sky and fell on Frieza's body. Boom. Rumble. Rumble. Quote. The sky emitted an extremely violent explosion. As the explosion exploded, a large amount of black fog was generated in the sky, covering Frieza's body. Huh. Sun Gohan rushed up after seeing it, came to the black mist and followed Frieza's chi, grabbed his head with his right hand, picked it up, and hit him hard with his left hand towards his abdomen. Bang. 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 Quote. Frieza, who was carried and beaten, spat out bitter water one after another, his face full of anger and a trace of fear. After fighting for a while, Sun Gohan looked at the dying Frisha, who was beaten, threw it upwards with his right hand, and then kicked his right foot hard towards his abdomen. Ah! Frieza spat out a mouthful of blood, and his body was like a ray, crashing towards the mountain behind the ground. Boom! Rumble! Rumble! Quote. Frisha, who was knocked down, smashed six mountains in a row before stopping, and the rocks of the shattered mountains fell and crushed them. Ha! Huh. Sun Gohan flew over after seeing it, and with his right hand, he condensed a wave of chi and dropped the big stone that Frisha was pressing on his body. Boom! With a loud noise, the big stone on Frisha's body was shaken apart by Sun Gohan, and Frisha's whole body was lying on the ground with injuries. After the big stone was shaken away, Frieza immediately gritted his teeth and stood up from the ground. Sun Wuhan looked at it and said, Have you already brought out all your strength? If this is your full strength, it will disappoint me too much. Quote. After hearing this, Frieza said angrily, This is just my first stage of transformation. I have two more chances to transform. You were the first to force me to perform three transformations. Next, I will directly transform into the final form raw. Quote. Sun Gohan. Oh, I thought you wanted to transform once and be beaten by me once. Quote. You. Frieza immediately gritted his teeth angrily when he heard this. Sun Gohan. Okay, you changed quickly, I'm still in a hurry to go back. Quote. After hearing this, Frieza's forehead rose up, and he clenched his hands hard and roared. Ah. Frieza roared and raised his chi upwards. At this time, Vegeta, who was hiding behind the big rock, Watching the two fight, saw that Sun Gohan did not move to kill him, and let Frieza continue to transform and speak. This, how strong is this little ghost strength? Quote. At this time, above the atmosphere of the planet Frieza, there were three small spaceships parked above. These three small spaceships are none other than Gark's spacecraft. Gak. Yachty. Do you know what really happened to Frieza now? Quote. Yachty. I don't know. However, I felt two extremely powerful chi fighting, one of which carried evil, and I thought that chi should be Frisha. And the other one I don't know who it is. Quote. Gark. Is it? Quote. Hem. Yachty nodded after listening. Danyu. Gake, shall we land down and take a look? Quote. Gak. Frieza is on the planet, let's go down and look for death. Just observe it here. Quote. Danyu. Okay. Quote. On the planet Frisha. Frisha has completed the second stage of transformation at this time, becoming an alien monster with long thorns on its back. Yay! After Frieza transformed into the second form, he gritted his teeth angrily, and his body exuded more powerful chi. Boom! The sky suddenly darkened, and a bolt of lightning fell from the sky. Ah! Frieza hissed, and the ground around him shook violently. Ha! Huh. At this time, the chi on Frisha's body was like a flame, rising upwards. Boom! With an incomparably violent tremor, the ground on which Frieza stood shook even more violently, and the ground under his feet collapsed. Shish! Frieza's body was filled with lightning, and the shell on his body began to fade. Buzz! Yay! With a huge curtain of white energy light, it swept around. Ooh! 
Frieza finally transformed into the final state, there was no shell on his body, his whole body was full of powerful energy, and his appearance looked a little miniature. Huh. Sun Gohan smiled after seeing it, is this your final form? It looks even more mini than I expected. Quote. After hearing this, Frieza gritted his teeth and said, abominable little ghost. You are still so conceited. Quote. Sun Gohan. No. It's self-confidence. Quote. HMPH. After hearing this, Frieza snorted coldly, abominable little ghost. I'll let you know how good I am. Quote. Frieza said as his right hand was raised, and his index finger fired a death beam at Sun Gohan. Biu Biu. One after another beams of light shot towards Sun Gohan, and after Sun Gohan saw it, he raised his right hand and bounced those death beams away. Boom. Rumble. Rumble. Quote. The place where Sun Gohan stood emitted a violent explosion, which was obscured by the black smoke generated by the explosion. Biu Biu. Frieza watched and continued to attack for a while. Boom. Rumble. Rumble. Quote. The place where Sun Gohan was located emitted an incomparably violent explosion, and around its location, a large hole was also punched out by Frieza's death beam. Frieza saw that Sun Gohan had been in the black smoke and did not attack, thinking that he was dead, and laughed. Ha ha ha. Arrogant Im. Finally dead. Quote. Oh. Is it? Quote. Just as Frieza was laughing, Sun Gohan's voice came from the black smoke. What? Frieza's face changed after hearing this, and he raised his eclipse again and attacked the place where Sun Gohan was. Ha! Huh. And at this moment, Sun Gohan rushed out of the black smoke. After seeing this, Frieza aimed the death beam at the rushing out, and Sun Gohan shot it. Biu Biu. Dozens of death beams fell towards them at once. Ha! Huh. And at this moment, Sun Gohan's figure suddenly disappeared with an afterimage. What? Frieza was shocked when he saw it. Bang. At this moment, Frieza received a punch in the abdomen. Ah. After Frieza's abdomen was hit hard, he immediately let out a scream, looked at Sun Gohan who suddenly appeared in front of him, and said angrily, You. Quote. Ha. Huh. Sun Gohan smiled contemptuously after seeing it, and his hands and feet shot towards Frieza like thunder and lightning. Bang. 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 Quote. Frieza who had not yet reacted, was beaten wildly under Sun Gohan's rapid attack, and his body kept retreating. Bang! At this moment, Frieza's right hand suddenly quickly lifted upwards and grabbed Sun Gohan's right hand. Hem! Sun Gohan was shocked when he saw that his right hand was grabbed by Frieza. Ha ha ha! Seeing Sun Gohan's startled look, a smug smile appeared on Frieza's face, and his tail behind him went towards Sun Gohan. Boom! Sun Gohan saw Frieza's tail coming towards him, and his left hand instantly condensed a wave of chi, striking towards Frieza's, instantly making his tail scorched black. Ah! After Frieza's tail was hit by Sun Gohan's chi wave, he immediately screamed and looked at Sun Gohan with an angry face, and at this moment, Sun Gohan's right foot was raised, and it kicked towards Frieza's chin like a whirlwind. Bang! After Sun Gohan kicked with his right foot, Frieza reacted quickly and grabbed his right foot with his left hand. Biu. At this moment, Sun Gohan's left hand condensed a wave of chi and hit Frieza's face hard. Boom. The air wave hit Frieza's face, and his eyes opened instantly. Ah. Frieza screamed in pain. After Sun Gohan saw it, he clenched his left fist hard and hit him hard in the abdomen again. Bang. Ah. With an extremely violent shock, Frieza, who was punched again by Sun Gohan in the abdomen, immediately opened his eyes in pain and spat out a mouthful of bitter water. Sun Gohan also took advantage of this moment, his right foot forced, broke free from his hand, and punched out. Biu. The flying Frieza crashed into the mountain in front of him like a ray. Boom. Rumble. Rumble. Quote. After Frieza smashed three mountains in a row, he stopped his body with his own strength. After Frieza stopped, he wiped his mouth with his hand and saw that his hand was stained with blood. Blood. Seeing the blood on his hands, Frieza immediately became extremely angry and said, Abominable Saiyan. I'm going to kill you. Quote. Boom. Frieza said, quickly rushing towards Sun Gohan. Bang. 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 Quote. Soon, Frieza rushed to Sun Gohan, and his fists and feet fought with Sun Gohan like thunder and lightning. Bang. With an extremely violent shock, 
Sun Gohan's right fist hit Frisha's face. Huh. Frieza saw Sun Gohan calling, and his tail rolled towards Sun Gohan, binding his body. Ah. Sun Gohan shouted after seeing it, and his body exuded amazing chi, shaking Frieza's tail away from his body. At this moment, Frieza shook his right hand and punched Sun Gohan in the abdomen. Hem. Sun Gohan saw Frieza calling, raised his hands, and immediately grabbed his right fist. Seeing Sun Gohan grabbing it with his hand, Frieza gritted his teeth angrily and pushed his right knee towards Sun Gohan. Bang! After seeing this, Sun Gohan quickly raised his left knee and pushed Frieza's knee back. At this moment, Frieza's eyes suddenly emitted a bright light, and two rays shot out from Frieza's eyes. Seeing the light coming from Frieza's eyes, Sun Gohan's head moved to the right and dodged. After Sun Gohan dodged, Frieza clenched his right fist and hit Sun Gohan, and Sun Gohan also clenched his fist and hit Frieza. Bang! With an extremely violent shock, the two fists collided together, and, nourishing, lightning came out from their hands. Ha! Huh. Tread! After the two collided with their fists, they retreated at the same time, condensing a large number of chi waves in their hands, and hit each other. Biu biu! Boom! Rumble! Rumble! Quote! The ground where the two stood instantly emitted an extremely violent explosion. Ha! Huh. The two flew into the sky at the same time, and the gas bombs condensed in their hands shot towards each other. Boom! Rumble! Rumble! Quote. There were extremely violent explosions in the sky and the black smoke generated after the explosion. After the black smoke appeared, the bodies of the two were covered. Frieza looked at Sun Gohan's place covered in black smoke and attacked with a death beam. Boom! Rumble! Rumble! Quote. The death beam fell over, missed, and landed on the mountain, which shattered instantly. Ha! Huh. Just as Frieza was looking for Sun Gohan, Sun Gohan appeared behind him. Although the black smoke can cover Frieza's body, Sun Gohan can sense Frieza's position through Chi. What? Sun Gohan appeared behind Frieza, who turned around as if sensing. Bang! In the moment he turned around, Sun Gohan's right fist just hit him in the nose. Ah! Frieza was hit in the nose and immediately felt extremely painful. Bang! 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 Quote. And at this moment, Sun Gohan's fists and feet were like thunder and lightning, hitting Frieza's body. Frieza in the black smoke could not see Sun Gohan's movements, and could only cross her arms to resist Sun Gohan's attack. Ha! Huh. Sun Gohan's figure flashed around Frieza's back, clasped his hands into fists, and hit Frieza's back hard. Bang! Bew! With an extremely violent thump, Frieza's body fell quickly towards the ground like a ray. Boom! With an extremely violent sound, a large amount of sand and gravel was lifted on the ground, and a large pit appeared. Ha! Huh. Sun Gohan flew over after seeing it. At this time, Frieza, who was lying on the ground, saw Sun Gohan flying in the sky, and gritted his teeth and climbed up, is this really a Saiyan? Quote. Saying that, Frieza flew towards Sun Gohan in the sky, and the two fought fiercely again. At this time, Vegeta, who was hiding behind a stone mountain, looked at the fight that could not be seen in the sky, and bit out, I didn't expect that the strength of Sun Gohan and Frieza was far beyond my imagination. Too much. Quote. Naba. What about Vegeta, what are we going to do? Quote. Vegeta. If this situation continues, that imp should win. We just have to wait for that little devil to win, go to the research room and find a spaceship that can be used and leave here. Quote. Good. Naba nodded after listening. Bang. At this moment, the fiercely fighting Frieza in the sky was once again shot down to the ground by Sun Gohan. Bew. Boom. With a loud bang, Frieza once again smashed a deep pit in the ground. Ha. Huh. Tread. After Frieza was hit to the ground, Sun Gohan quickly landed in front of Frieza's body in midair and said, Okay, I'm tired of playing, let's end the game here. Quote. What? Frieza heard this and immediately got up from the pit. Ah. Sun Gohan roared, clasped his hands hard, and the chi in his whole body quickly rose upward. What? At this time, Vegeta, who was hiding behind the big rock, felt that Sun Gohan's chi was rapidly rising upward, and was shocked. Sun Gohan's chi can actually be raised even higher. Quote. After Sun Wuhan raised his chi upwards, a flame-like white chi emanated from his body. Seeing Sun Gohan, who was lifting up his chi, and what he had just said, 
Frisch's expression immediately became frightened, and his hands clenched into fists, and he also raised his chi upward. Boom! It was at this time that Sun Gohan's hair and the chi of his whole body turned golden, and Sun Gohan turned into Super Saiya. This, what is it? Aren't Saiyans just transformed into apes? Quote. Frisha, who had raised his chi upward, was immediately surprised when he saw the change in Sun Gohan. Sun Gohan, this is called Super Saiyan. Quote. Ultra, Super Saiyan. Frisha's face finally showed fear after hearing this. Originally, if Sun Gohan directly transformed into a Super Saiyan, Frisha would not show this fear, but since the beginning of Frisha's battle with Sun Gohan, Sun Gohan has been beating him, making his fear continue to increase. At the moment when Sun Gohan transformed into a Super Saiyan, Vegeta and Naba felt his incomparably amazing chi at the same time and looked towards Sun Gohan. Kim, color hair, is this what he calls a Super Saiyan? Vegeta was extremely surprised when she saw Sun Gohan's appearance. Hem. Naba nodded after hearing this, it should be. Quote. Vegeta gritted her teeth immediately after hearing this. In the sky, after Sun Gohan transformed into a Super Saiyan, Frieza continued to improve his chi. Sun Gohan looked at the angry and gritted his teeth and said, If you don't exert your full strength, you will die. Even if you die, you will not admit defeat. Quote. Forget it. I'll waste a little time for you to boost your strength to 100%. Quote. Saying that, he stepped back, allowing Frieza to continue to increase his strength. Shish. Frieza was covered with lightning. 31%, 51%. Boom. After a long time, a storm wind emanated from Frieza's body, and it finally increased to 100% strength. Frieza. Abominable little ghost. I must kill you. Quote. Sun Gohan. Yes, if you do, just let the horse come. Quote. Ha. Huh. Sun Gohan said and rushed forward. Bang, bang, bang. Quote. Sun Gohan's fists and feet hit Frisha's body like thunder and lightning, and seeing Sun Gohan's attack, Frisha also hit back with his fists and feet. Bang, bang. Quote. The two hit each other in the face at the same time, and then leaned back. Bang, bang, bang. Quote. The two figures were like lightning, moving at high speed in the sky and ground. Boom. Rumble. Rumble. Quote. When the two of them touched the ground battle, the big stone was instantly shattered. Yay. Sun Gohan clenched his right fist and punched Frisha's head hard. Bang. Frieza looked at it and grabbed it with his hand. After Sun Gohan saw it, he grabbed Frisha's hand with his left hand and pushed it forward, and Frisha did not push Sun Gohan forward after seeing it. Boom! The ground shook violently, and their hands were filled with lightning. After holding each other for a while, Sun Gohan pushed Frieza out with a force. What? Frieza, who was pushed out by Sun Gohan, looked startled and said, How can his strength be 100% stronger than mine? Quote. Bang! Just when Frieza was startled, Sun Gohan was like lightning and punched Frieza. Bang! Frieza was hit in the abdomen and flew backwards like a ray. Boom. Rumble. Rumble. Quote. Frieza only stopped after smashing four mountains in succession, and the shattered stones of the mountains pressed against him. Phew. Frieza was pressed against the stone and quickly stood up. Bang. And at this moment, Sun Gohan's figure appeared and hit him hard. Boom. With a loud noise, Frieza was knocked back to the ground. Sun Wuhan looked at it and said, Frisha, this should be all your strength. Your 100% strength is indeed very strong. But you're still no match for me. Quote. Frisha, who was lying on the ground, immediately gritted his teeth after hearing this, impossible. I am Frisha, emperor of the universe. I can't lose to you. Absolutely not. Quote. HMPH. Sun Gohan snorted coldly after hearing this, quickly grabbed Frisha's tail with his right hand, lifted his body from the ground, and threw it hard towards the sky. Ah. As soon as Frieza was thrown into the sky by Sun Gohan, he immediately shouted and stopped his body with force. And at this moment, Sun Wuhan put his hands back and said, Turtle, Pai, Chi, Gong, Bo. Quote. Ha. Huh. A dark blue wave of light condensed in Sun Gohan's hands and shot towards Frieza in the sky. Nope. Seeing the turtle sect Chi Gong calling, Frieza immediately shouted. Ju. The turtle sent Chi Gong to Frieza's body pushed it upwards for a broken distance, and exploded above the sky. 
Boom! With an extremely violent explosion, Frisha's body was wiped out by the explosion. Phew! After destroying Frisha, Sun Gohan exhaled softly and changed his body back to its original state. After Frieza was destroyed, Vegeta and Naba did not hide behind the mountain and flew towards Sun Gohan. Sun Wuhan saw the two flying people and spoke. Frieza has been eliminated, as long as you stop doing evil in the future, you can live this life safely by finding a random planet. Quote. Sun Gohan, there should be some undamaged spaceships on this planet. You will carry those spaceships to other planets. And I'm back to Earth. Quote. Vegeta listened, what if we go to other planets to do evil? Quote. Ha. Huh. Sun Gohan smiled after hearing this, there are more people in this universe who are stronger than you. If you destroy the planet as before, you will only kill yourself. Quote. What? Vegeta was startled. Naba listened and said, in this universe, is there anyone better than us besides Frisha? Quote. Sun Gohan. Then do you know Frisha's father, Kurd? Quote. Vegeta. Frisha's father. Quote. Seeing Vegeta's surprised expression, Sun Gohan smiled and said, okay. Without further ado, I'm going back to the spaceship. Quote. Huh. After speaking, Sun Gohan flew forward. After Sun Gohan left, Naba turned to Vegeta and said, Vegeta, what should we do? Quote. Vegeta, let's leave the planet first and find Raditz. Quote. Naba, what are we looking for that waste for? Quote. Vegeta, Raditz though waste. But he is Kakarot's brother. Sun Gohan's uncle. Quote. Naba, but what does this have to do with us? Quote. Vegeta, I want to go to Earth to cultivate. Go beyond Kakarot them. Quote. What? Naba was shocked when he heard this. You are not ready to continue destroying the planet with us. Quote. HMPH. After hearing this, Vegeta snorted coldly. Before destroying the planet, it was forced by Frisha, there was no way. We Saiyans are not a tool to destroy the planet. We Saiyans seek strength. Quote. Vegeta said, narrowing his eyes and saying, even a low-level warrior like Kakarot can transform into a Super Saiyan. I don't believe I can't transform into a Super Saiyan. Okay, let's leave the planet first and go find Raditz. Quote. Hem. Naba nodded after listening. Over the planet Frieza. After Frisha's Elisha fencing was eliminated, Yadi was shocked and said, Frisha's chi has disappeared. Quote. What? When Gark heard this, he was shocked and said, what's going on? Quote. Yadi. I don't know. However, there are only two situations in which the chi disappears, one is that Frieza hides the chi, and the other is that he dies. Quote. However, I think it's the second one, because there was a more powerful chi than it just now, fighting him. Gark, is that guy a good guy or a bad guy? Quote. Yachty, I don't know. It's all possible. Quote. Gark, yes. Quote. Danyu, Gark, then what should we do? Quote. Hem. After hearing this, Gak looked stunned, and thought for a while, let's land down and take a look. We'll kill Frisha, I don't think it should be a bad person. Quote. Danyu, but what if he is a bad person? Quote. Gak, then let Yadi use teleportation to take us away, if this guy is a good guy and pulls in our squad, the strength of our squad can be greatly strengthened. Quote. Danyu, but can the other party join? Quote. Gark. Don't say so much, let's go down quickly. Otherwise, if the other party leaves this planet, we won't even have a chance to pull him. Quote. Good. After that, the three of them drove the spaceship and quickly flew towards the planet Frieza. On the planet Frieza. At this time, Sun Gohan had flown to the side of the spaceship, looking at the intact spaceship, and was about to board the spaceship and leave, when he suddenly felt three extremely weak chi descending towards the planet Frieza. After feeling those three chi, Sun Gohan wondered, how can three extremely weak chi descend? Quote. Sun Gohan said as soon as he flew up, looked up into the sky, and saw three small spaceships, these three small spaceships, it was Gark them. Sun Gohan saw Gak and they were startled and said, Nami Nemesis. Quote. Sun Gohan said, falling back to the ground, waiting for the three to land. At this time, Gak in the sky saw a huge spaceship below and a small, child, standing next to him, and landed towards it. Huh. 
After a while, Gark and they drove their small spaceship and landed next to the Sun Gohan spaceship. Kai, the glass of the three-person spacecraft opened and fell to the ground. Tail, after Gark landed, he was startled when he saw Sun Gohan's tail, Yadi is not good. It's a Saiyan, let's run away. Quote. Sun Gohan saw Gak look frightened and said, you are Gak. Quote. A. Gak was stunned after hearing this, how do you know about me? Quote. Sun Gohan, don't ask me how I know. What are you here for? Quote. Ahem. Gark heard that the other party knew him, and he didn't have the courage to do it himself, you told me before that. Are you Saiyan or not? Quote. Sun Gohan, I'm a Saiyan, but I'm also an Earthling. Quote. Gark, what do you mean? Quote. Sun Gohan, this is a bit troublesome to explain. Anyway, I won't hurt you. Quote. Phew. After hearing this, Gak breathed a sigh of relief and said, I'm relieved about this. Quote. Sun Gohan, what are you doing here? Patrol. Quote. Hem. Dan Yu nodded after hearing this. After seeing it, Gark covered Danyu's mouth and said, Don't talk nonsense. Quote. Uh huh. Danyu quickly nodded after hearing this, and Gark only released his hand after seeing it. Sun Gohan. By the way, I'm leaving this planet, if you guys have nothing to do, I'll leave. Quote. You're leaving. Gark was shocked after hearing this. Hem. Sun Gohan nodded. After hearing this, Gak looked at Sun Gohan, and secretly speculated about it in his heart. He knows me, and he seems to be different from those vicious Saiyans, and what does he mean when he says that he is an earthling? Quote. After thinking about it quickly, Gark said to Sun Gohan, Do you know Frisha? Quote. Sun Gohan, he was just eliminated by me. Quote. Ah. After hearing this, Gake's face changed greatly, and he grabbed Yadi with both hands and said, Run away. Quote. Yadi. Sun Wuhan looked at it and said, by the way, do you know Lord King of the Northern Realm? Quote. North, King of the Northern Realm. Garker was shocked when he heard this, and lowered his hand from Yadi, what do you have to do with him? Quote. Sun Gohan, I have nothing to do with him, but my father used to practice with him. Quote. Gak, your dad. Quote. Hem. Sun Gohan nodded and said, I'll go first if it's okay. Quote. Gark, wait, I still don't know what your name is. Quote. Sun Gohan. Sun Gohan. Quote. Gark. You said you're an earthling. So do you live on earth planet? Quote. Hem. Sun Gohan nodded after hearing this. After that, Sun Gohan boarded the spaceship. Danyu looked at it and said, Gark, didn't you say you wanted to pull him into our squad? Quote. Gark. No hurry, we have to find out his identity and make a decision. He said that his father is cultivating in the Northern Realm King, let's ask if it's true. Quote. Danyu. So it is. Quote. Huh. After Sun Gohan boarded the spaceship, the spacecraft quickly started and left the planet Frisia. After seeing it, Gak said, let's leave too. Quote. Hem. Yadi nodded after listening. Five days later, Sun Gohan flew the spacecraft back to Earth, stopped at Bulma's house, and returned home. After returning home, Kiki cried and made trouble with Sun Gohan, reluctant and reluctant, and did not hurt Sun Gohan, Sun Gohan could only admit that he was wrong after reading it, and then Sun Wukong helped persuade before he stopped crying. Sun Gohan has a little headache about this, he understands Kiki's crying and worry, after all, Kiki she is his own mother, it is normal to worry about himself, if he is not worried, he will doubt whether he is her biological child. His headache is his age, he is only 5 years old, even if he has great skills, in Kiki's opinion, he is just a child, if he is older, Kiki should not be so worried and disciplined himself. Hey, Sun Gohan thought and sighed and went back to his room. Time flickered, and a month passed. At this time, on a certain planet, two Saiyan spaceships are descending. Boom, two spaceships landed on the ground, and a Saiyan in a combat suit flew in, this person was Raditz, the brother of the Monkey King. Kai. The doors of the two spaceships opened, and two people came out, Vegeta and Naba. Huh. After the spaceship opened, the two flew out of the spacecraft and landed in front of Raditz. Raditz. Vegeta, is it true that you said that Frieza was wiped out? Quote. Naba. What are we lying to you for? Quote. Raditz. So you came to me. 
Quote. Vegeta. I want to ask if you want to go to Earth with me to cultivate, your younger brother Kakarot. But cultivate into a Super Saiyan on Earth. Quote. Raditz. Ultra, Super Saiyan. Isn't that a legend? Quote. Nope. Vegeta listened, that's not a legend. We saw your brother's son transform into a Super Saiyan. Destroy Frieza's. Quote. What? Son of Kakarot. Raditz was shocked when he heard this. Vegeta. That's right. And he's not even six years old. Quote. Raditz. Less than six years old. So Kakarot's son is a super genius. Quote. Vegeta. So to speak. Quote. Vegeta said and looked behind Naba. Naba, how are you thinking about it? Is it earth cultivation with me, or with Raditz? Quote. Naba. I'll be with you. Quote. Vegeta. What about Raditz? Quote. Raditz. I'll go too. Quote. Vegeta. But I have something to tell you. Quote. Raditz. What's going on? Quote. Vegeta. When you get to Earth, you can't destroy. Kakarot's son is a ruthless character. He told us that as long as we dare to destroy the Earth, he will destroy us at any moment. Quote. What? Raditz was shocked when he heard this. Then we still go to Earth. Quote. HMPH. After hearing this, Vegeta snorted coldly, we went to Earth to cultivate and transform into a Super Saiyan. Go beyond Kakarot them, so tolerate it for a while. Quote. Wait until we can transform into Super Saiyans too. Solve Kakarot. The whole universe is ours. Quote. Raditz. So it is. Quote. Hem. Vegeta nodded after hearing this, okay, let's hurry up and go to Earth. Quote. Hem. Naba nodded after listening. Just as Vegeta and them were about to go to Earth, three small spaceships flew over the Earth universe, and these three spaceships were the gak they met when Sun Gohan first met. After inquiring and knowing that there was no problem with Sun Gohan's identity, Gak took Yachty and them to Earth, preparing to let him join the Space Patrol team. The Space Patrol team is responsible for maintaining the peace of the universe, which is divided into different galaxies, the Earth belongs to the North Galaxy, and Garker and their formed team are responsible for this side. The Space Patrol team is not very strong in the universe, otherwise how could Frieza lead the army to invade other planets all the time? And the appearance of Sun Gohan made Garker's heart rise in the heart of wooing, as long as he was allowed to join the Space Patrol team and in the future, when he encountered enemies similar to Frieza, he could ask him to help. Ha! Huh. Soon they landed on a barren mountain of the Earth. After the ship landed, Gak and they hid the spacecraft in a more hidden place, and then came to the western capital, found the Exidu police, and asked him to take them to Boomer's house. Boomer was watering flowers in the yard at this time, when there was a sudden doorbell outside the door, so he stopped watering the flowers, opened the door, and saw a policeman with Gak and them. Policeman, Miss Boomer, a few of them said something was looking for you. Do you know them? Quote. Ah. After hearing this, Boomer looked at the three people in surprise, especially Gak, who looked similar to Ultraman, and thought for a while, I don't know them. Quote. The policeman looked at Garker and said, Miss Boomer said she didn't know you. Quote. Gark, Miss Boomer, we came to you this time to ask where is your home for Sun Gohan. Quote. Boomer, Gohan, are you his friends? Quote, Gark, not really, but we have something to do with him, bother you to call and talk to him, my name is Gark. Policeman, Miss Boomer, Quote, Boomer, Mr. Police, he is looking for a friend son of mine, I will call to confirm. Quote, Policeman, I know. Quote, Boomer said and took out the phone and called Sun Gohan. Bun Mountain, Sun Gohan was taking a nap at this time, and suddenly the phone rang in his ears, woke up, and picked up the phone and said, Hey. Quote. Boomer. Gohan is me. Aunt Boomer, do you know someone named Gark? He came to me and said something was looking for you. Quote. Son Gohan. Well, you tell him, let him come to me. Quote. Boomer. Okay. Quote. After Boomer finished speaking, he said to the police, Mr. Police is in trouble with you. They are indeed people my friend's son knows. Quote. Policeman. Nothing. Raise your hand. Since it's okay, I'll go first. Quote. Boomer. Mister. Police go slowly. Quote. After the police left, Boomer asked Gak what he was looking for son Gohan, and Gark answered truthfully after listening to it. 
Boomer, you are aliens. I also want Sun Gohan to join the Space Patrol team. Quote. Gark. Yes. What's wrong? Quote. Boomer, even if Gohan agrees to this, his mother Kiki wouldn't agree either. Quote. Gark, we'll communicate with her if it's okay. All you have to do is tell me where his house is sitting. Quote. Boomer, his family lives deep in the mountains, let me draw a map for you. Quote. Gark, okay, thanks. Quote. Boomer then drew a simple map for Gark. Gak looked at the map and said, thank you. Quote. Boomer, it's okay. I also want to go to the universe when I have time, can you escort me then? Quote. Gark, no problem. Quote. Boomer, thank you then. Quote. Hem. Gark nodded after hearing this, if it's something else. Then we'll leave. Quote. Boomer, slow down. Quote. After that, Gak turned around and took Yachty and they walked in the direction of the map. About an hour later, when Gak and they left the western capital, not far from Bun Mountain, Gark was a little tired and said to Yachty, Yachty, don't you move instantaneously, see if you can sense Sun Gohan's chi, save us to walk over. Quote. Yachty, I'll see if I can sense it. Quote. Yachty said and put his fingers between his forehead, sensed it for a while, and said, sensed it. Quote. Gark, great, quote, Yachty, Yak, Danu, you grab me, quote, hem, the two nodded, ha, huh. seeing the two nodding, Yachty immediately cast a teleportation and led the two to the outside of Sun Gohan's house, hem, at the moment they appeared, Sun Wuhan, who was reading a book in the house, suddenly felt their breath, and walked out of the house, Sun Gohan, what are you looking for me for, quote, ha, huh. Gabe smiled after hearing this, that's right, the three of us are from the space patrol team. Quote. Oh. Sun Gohan said lightly. Gark, let's introduce ourselves first. My name is Gak, and next to me my name Danu is a Nami nemesis. The one on the far right is called Yadi, a Yadrat. Quote. Adrath Starman. Sun Gohan was shocked when he heard this. Gark. Yes. The three of us came to you today to let you join the space patrol team. Quote. Sun Gohan, it's not interesting not to join. Quote. After hearing this, Gak said, it is everyone's responsibility to maintain peace in the universe. If you join our space patrol, I'll let you be our detachment leader. Quote. Detachment leader. After hearing this, Sun Gohan said, how many people are in the detachment? Quote. Gark. Three. Quote. Sun Gohan. Gark. Don't look at the small number of our detachment, it can be expanded in the future. Quote. Oh. Sun Wuhan said lightly after hearing this, but I still have to study and study, I don't have time. Quote. Gark, we've got you all done with that. You just need to help when we have an enemy we can't defeat. The little things are left to us. Quote. Sun Gohan, but what good do I have? Quote. Gak, what a righteous thing to maintain peace in the universe. What more benefits? Sun Gohan. Gark, so how do you want to join? Quote. Sun Gohan, I want Yachty to stay on Earth and tell me to teleport. Otherwise, no talk. Quote. How would you know that Yachty will teleport? Gark was shocked after hearing this. Sun Gohan, listen to others, plus your chi moved here instantly, guessed. Quote. After hearing this, Gak thought for a moment and said, deal. Quote. After Gark agreed, Yachty on the side said, Gak, I haven't agreed yet. Quote. Gak, to maintain peace in the universe, you will stay on Earth with the captain for a year. Quote. Yachty, the team, captain. Quote. Gark, yes. Didn't you hear what we said just now? Quote. Yachty, heard me, but this is not with the consent of the general team. Quote. Gak, agreed. Quote. What? Yachty was shocked when he heard this. Gark. Okay. You're resting on Earth for a year. The salary is still calculated. Quote. Yachty. All right. Quote. Workers, wages. Sun Gohan. Gakna, I'm the captain. How much is January? Quote. Gark. Captain's words, at least one million cosmic coins a year. It depends on how our squad performs. Quote. Sun Gohan. Cosmic coins. Quote. Gark. Yes. Cosmic coins are the universal currency of many planets in the universe, and your Earth has not yet joined. Therefore, 
This cosmic coin cannot be used on your planet for the time being. Quote. Sun Gohan, so it is. Quote. Gark, but Captain, when you and Yachty learn to teleport, you can often come to the universe, and I will take you to those planets that use cosmic coins. Quote. Oh, Sun Gohan said lightly. Gark, by the way, Captain, I'm going to give you a special communicator for the space patrol team to facilitate contact. Quote. Gak said and held a smartphone to Sun Gohan. Sun Gohan looked at the smartphone in his hand and said, Isn't this an ordinary mobile phone? Quote. Gark. No. Captain, this is different from your Earth's mobile phone. This mobile phone has unlimited signal. Quote. Poof. Sun Gohan almost spewed out after hearing this. Such a high technology. Quote. Gark. In general. This phone can be contacted anywhere, but there are also some more special spaces that will be blocked. Quote. Gark. Our patrol team sell phones. Waterproof, drop resistant, and most importantly, solar charging. Quote. Sun Gohan. All right. I know. Quote. Gark. Okay. Captain, I have left beforehand. About the use and contact of the phone, Yachty will tell you. Quote. Hem. Sun Gohan nodded. After Gark finished speaking, he suddenly thought of something again, and said to Sun Gohan, that's right. Captain, can you send me to the spaceship? It's a bit far. Quote. Give. Sun Gohan said, handed the 10,000 capsule to Gak and said, there is a motorcycle in this capsule. And you rode to your universe. Quote. Gark. Oh. Is it? That captain were leaving. Quote. Hem. Sun Gohan nodded. Bang. Gark said. Through the universal capsule, a white motorcycle appeared, Gark and Danu looked at it, sat up, and rode away on the motorcycle. After the two left, Sun Gohan took Yachty to the house, and then the two chatted for a while. In the afternoon, Kiki came back from grocery shopping and saw Yachty surprised, and after Sun Gohan explained to her, he let Yachty stay. In the evening, after Sun Gohan and Yachty had dinner, Yachty asked Sun Gohan to register a software for Shu and Chat which would be pulled into the group chat of a new squad. Mo new squad. Gark. Welcome captain to the group. Quote. Danu. Welcome captain to the group. Quote. Yachty. Welcome captain to the group. Quote. Sun Gohan. Gark. Captain, this is the daily report group of our squad. Usually tell you about our squad in the group chat. Quote. Sun Gohan. Oh. Quote. Gark. Hem. Captain waits for you to learn to teleport. It's easy to travel to and from the universe. Quote. Sun Gohan. If it's nothing. I slept today. Quote. Gark. Good night captain. Quote. Danu. Good night captain. Quote. Time flickered, and a month passed. For a month, Sun Gohan and Sun Wukong both followed Yachty in the back mountain to learn teleportation. At this time, above the earth, three Saiyan spaceships flew, and these three spaceships, this is Vegetanaba's spaceship. Ha! Huh. After the spacecraft came above the earth, it quickly broke through the earth and landed towards the earth. Sun Wukong and Sun Wuhan, who were cultivating at this time, both felt the three chi descending from the earth. Sun Wukong. Gohan Earth has three strong chi descending down. Quote. Sun Gohan. Well, it's the three Saiyans who wanted to destroy the earth before. Quote. Monkey King. Oh. Is it? What are they doing on earth this time? Quote. Sun Gohan. I don't know. Quote. Boom. Rumble. Rumble. Quote. With three violent thunders, Vegeta and their three-man spacecraft landed on a grassy patch on Earth. Kai. The door of the three-person spaceship opened, and the three came out of the spacecraft, lifted the three spaceships, moved them to a slightly hidden place to hide, and flew towards Sun Wukong's house. Ha. Huh. The three of them followed the Qi and soon came to the back mountain where Sun Wuhan and their cultivation were cultivated. Tread. The three flew down from the sky. Seeing the three people landing, Sun Wukong said, Are you guys here for something? Quote. After Sun Wukong spoke, Raditz, who was standing behind Vegeta, came out from behind and said with a joyful face, Kakarot. Great, you're alive. Quote. Sun Gohan. Monkey King. Monkey King. What the hell is going on with you? Quote. Raditz. Introduce yourself first. My name is Raditz and my brother. Quote. What? Sun Wukong was shocked after hearing this. Raditz. 
When my father knew that planet Vegeta would be destroyed by Frieza, he used a spaceship to send you to this remote Earth. So that you escaped and survived. Quote. Raditz. Kakarot. You and we are both Saiyans who survived planet Vegeta. Quote. Monkey King. Oh. So it is. So what the hell are you looking for me? Quote. Ahem. Raditz coughed lightly after hearing this. Kakarot is like this. We want to practice with you. Quote. Sun Wukong. Cultivation is possible. But you can't cultivate anything with us. Quote. What? Raditz was shocked when he heard this. What do you mean by this? Quote. After hearing this, Sun Gohan on the side spoke. It's very simple to cultivate into a Super Saiyan. You just need to have someone do you a hundred times the gravity chamber cultivation. After a few years of cultivation, you can become a Super Saiyan. Quote. Vegeta. A hundredfold gravity chamber. I see. Quote. When Naba heard this, he came to Vegeta's ear and whispered, Vegeta. Since we already know the cultivation method, it is better to leave the earth and grab someone from another planet to help us create it. Quote. Monkey King. Okay. Gohan has already told you how to cultivate. If nothing happens, just leave. Quote. Vegeta. Okay, I see. Naba, Raditz, let's go. Quote. Hem. Raditz nodded, glanced at Sun Wukong and said, Kakarot. You look exactly like your father. Quote. Monkey King. Oh. Is it? Quote. Hem. Raditz nodded. With that, Raditz flew forward with Vegeta. Sun Gohan. Dad continued to cultivate. Quote. Hem. Monkey King nodded. Ha. Huh. Vegeta, they were flying in midair at this time. Naba. Vegeta, do we want to leave the earth? Anyway, we already know the cultivation method. It's not the same where to practice. Quote. Vegeta. You're an idiot. Although Sun Wuhan told us the method of cultivation, where is it so easy to find someone and make this hundredfold gravity room? Quote. Naba. So what to do? Quote. Vegeta. Kakarot, they actually cultivated into Super Saiyans on this earth. Then someone can make this gravity chamber. We just have to find that person and let him make it for us. Quote. Naba. That makes sense. Quote. Raditz. So where do we go now? Quote. Vegeta. Go to the most prosperous place on earth and find out where the best inventors on this planet are. Force him to help us make it. Quote. Hem. Raditz nodded. Great idea. Quote. After more than a month, the three of them searched the whole world and found Boomer's house. After coming to Boomer's house, Vegeta looked at Boomer's house with some familiarity and said, Naba, we seem to have come here to find Sun Gohan before. Quote. Naba, it seems to be. Quote. Vegeta, so, we found it right. Quote. Naba, but we can't threaten him like that. Otherwise, they will be in trouble if they know about Kakarot. Quote. Vegeta, it's okay. I had already guessed this situation. Quote. Naba, Vegeta, what are we going to do? Quote. Vegeta, we can talk to him. Give him our spaceship in exchange for making gravity chambers for us. Quote. Raditz, but without spaceships, we can't leave Earth. Quote. Vegeta, I thought of this too. As long as we earn money on Earth, buy a spaceship. Isn't this kind of thing very simple for us? Quote. Hey, hey. Raditz let out an evil laugh when he heard this. Vegeta then goes to Boomer's house and finds Dr. Bribe to talk to him. At first he disagrees, and then accidentally mentions Monkey King and them, so he asks Boomer to ask Monkey King about them. After receiving Boomer's call, Sun Gohan learns that Vegeta has not left Earth and finds Boomer who wants to help him with the gravity room. After thinking about it, Sun Gohan agreed to Boomer let them go to the gravity room to cultivate, the original Vegeta has been cultivating in the gravity room has failed to surpass Sun Wukong, and now Sun Wukong is already a Super Saiyan and he is still tens of thousands of combat power, has thrown him a long way, and Vegeta has become a good person later. Sun Gohan didn't kill them at the beginning, firstly, they were like Zan Wu slag in Sun Gohan's eyes, and secondly, he wanted to give them a chance to rehabilitate, and if they didn't change their nature, he could kill them at any time. After Sun Gohan agrees, Vegeta and they give the three spaceships to Boomer and enter the gravity room cultivation that they had previously made for Sun Gohan. Time flickered, more than nine months passed, 
Sun Gohan and Sun Wukong had learned to teleport from Yadi, contacted Gak and them, and sent Yadi back to the team, while Sun Gohan was still staying on Earth, if anything, he could find Gak and them through teleportation at any time. At this time, Sun Wu was practicing after the meal, and the mobile phone of the space patrol team suddenly rang. The pressures of life make me forget that I am. Hearing the ringing of the mobile phone, Sun Gohan stopped practicing and picked up. Gekko, the captain is not good. Danu's planet, here comes a group of super powerful invaders. Now it's doing it to the people on the planet Danu. Quote. After hearing this, Sun Gohan said, I'll come right away. Quote. Sun Gohan said, placing his fingers between his forehead, sensing the use of Gyak to teleport over. Huh. Sun Gohan teleported to Garker and their spaceship. This spaceship is not Gark's personal spaceship, but the spaceship that Sun Gohan asked Boomer to make in the first place, and he left it to Gaki and them when he stayed on Earth. Captain. Gark shouted immediately after seeing Sun Gohan. Danyu. Captain. Quote. Sun Gohan. Danyu, where is your planet? Quote. Danyu, it's in front of the spaceship. Quote. Front. After hearing this, Sun Gohan looked through the cosmic glass and saw the cyan planet in front of him. Planet Namek. After Sun Gohan saw the planet Namek, he put his fingers between his forehead, trying to sense whether there was a powerful chi on the planet Namek. Hem. After a while, Sun Gohan felt an extremely powerful chi and said to Gak, I'll go to the planet Namek to take a look. You guys stay here. Quote. Gark. Yes, Captain. Quote. Hem. Sun Gohan nodded. After speaking, with a bang, he instantly moved to the planet Namek. Ha! Huh. Sun Gohan appears in midair on the planet Namek. After Sun Gohan appeared, he looked around and saw a tall and burly Navi nemesis in yellow clothes and five monsters below, making a move on the Navi nemesis. The tall, burly Namek's named Shrog was a Namexian, and the five monsters were his demon subordinates. Hem. After Sun Gohan appeared, Shrog immediately noticed him, saying, quote, Shrog said, shouting at Sun Gohan, what kind of person are you? Quote, Sun Gohan, Sun Gohan, captain of the Space Patrol Detachment. Quote, Space Patrol, ha ha ha, Slug laughed loudly when he heard this, startle me. I thought it was a powerful guy. It turned out to be those wastes of the Space Patrol team. Quote, ha. Huh. Sun Gohan let out a grim laugh after hearing this, waste. Then I'll let you know. Know who the waste is. Quote. After hearing this, Shrog said to the demon Angela on the side, Angela give it to me. Quote. Angela, it's King Shrog. Quote. Angela said, looking at Sun Gohan. Sun Gohan looked at it and said, let's go with the five of you. Quote. After hearing this, Angela gritted her teeth angrily and rushed forward with her fists, arrogant guy. Quote. Huh. Sun Gohan's figure flashed after seeing it. Bang. Before Angela could react, he was punched in the abdomen by Sun Gohan, who instantly rushed in front of him. Ah. You. Quote. Angela screamed, her body lost consciousness and fell towards the ground. Angela. Daladabo, a demon subordinate on Slug's right, shouted at the other three, let's go together. Quote. Hem. The three nodded and rushed towards Sun Gohan. Ha. Sun Gohan shouted loudly after seeing it, and his body rushed forward, his fists and feet were like thunder and lightning, and he hit the four people. Bang. 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 Quote. With the extremely violent resounding of the four blows, the bodies of the four people were each hit by Sun Gohan with a punch. Ah. The four of them screamed violently at the same time, after which their bodies lost consciousness and fell downward. What? Shrog looked shocked when he saw it. Huh. At this time, Sun Gohan was like a gust of wind, clenching his fists and rushing towards Shrog. Bang. Sun Gohan rushed to Shrog's body and hit him in the head, and Shrog quickly raised his arms to resist after seeing it. HMPH. Sun Gohan snorted coldly when he saw Shrog resisting with both arms, and his left hand quickly condensed an air bomb and threw it towards him. Boom. With a violent explosion, the gas bomb exploded in front of Shrog. Shirag was hit by Sun Gohan's gas bomb, gritted his teeth angrily, and a wave of light came out from his mouth, mouth, and eyes at the same time, shooting towards Sun Gohan. Huh. 
Seeing Shrog's three Qi wave attacks, Sun Gohan looked startled and quickly dodged. Woohoo! Shrog gasped, abominable little ghost. If I were ten years younger, I can definitely kill you. Quote. Sun Gohan, but there are no ifs. Quote. Huh. Sun Gohan said and rushed up, and Shrog gritted his teeth after seeing it, and his hands were like vine snakes, reaching towards Sun Gohan. What? Sun Gohan was startled when he saw it, and quickly dodged to the side, and at this moment Shrog suddenly roared, and his body became bigger. Boom. After Shrog's body became larger, the ground around him immediately collapsed, and the Namek's people standing behind him immediately fled backwards after seeing it. Hey, hey, hey. After Shrog grew bigger, he laughed evilly and said, abominable stinky little devil. I'm going to let you know what happened to me slug. Quote. Thanks for watching, please subscribe and support my channel.